This is Africa rising. You talk about the Mandela legacy. This is the Mandela legacy. A man who fought and gave up his life for freedom. For freedom, not just for black people, but so people in his country can all be free and unite and have equal opportunities to go to school and not just reduce black people to being laborers. Black people are not just the best athletes. Black people can become scientists, lawyers, attorneys, accountants, and so have you. So I was very touched once when I brought over yet another American artist to meet our grandfather. And this American artist came over, greeted the old man, and played the, the, the piano for him. As soon as he started playing the piano, my grandfather opened up the newspapers and had no interest whatsoever. I said, no, Grandad, no, no, Grandad, you can't do that. Please, please, just give him two minutes. Let me finish the song. He said, okay, okay, okay. He finished the song, and he came over, and he thanked the, the old man, and he said, thank you for signing my book. Thank you very much for giving the opportunity, etc., etc." And the old man said nothing to him. He turned to me, and on the paper, on the back page of the sports section, there was a picture of one of the famous rugby players. And he said, Ndaba, do you know who this is? And I said, yes, Grenade, it's Brian Habana plays rugby for the Springboks. He said, okay. And that was it. That's all he said that whole time. <laughs> and at first, I didn't get it. But later, I started to understand that, okay, the old man is trying to tell me, Daba, I keep meeting these American artists, and it's great. However, do you know your own African artists? And that reaffirmed to me that the work we were doing with Africa Rising was on the right path. 